Welcome back to New Day. It's a beautiful day indeed, and we are celebrating Professor Akilakba Soya. I'm joined in the studio today by uh, Mabel Vivier of Star Ghana Foundation. She's a communications and learning manager there. Um, growing up, you know, um, a couple of, a number of us, you know, have heard about Professor Akilak Basoya. We've heard his name and it commands so much respect. Can you tell us why we need to celebrate him? Okay. So we are celebrating Professor Akilak Basoya today because one, we want to um, exemplify him for what he has done. And we want to recognize his role in development and public life. And so if you, if you uh, the theme for the celebration mm -hmm. is actually celebrating a life of um, academic excellence, public service, thought, leadership, and activism. And this is exactly what Professor Akela Kwasoya means to most of us and all mm. of us. And so this shows how important it is for us to celebrate him. And we also believe that celebrating him now is very important because mm -hmm. whilst he's here, mm -hmm. he gets to see how much we appreciate him mm -hmm. and where we, we kind of place him within our society and our everyday lives. Right. Yeah. So, so what, is, what, what would you say is his most um, important legacy? Um, his most important legacy, well, for me, I like to say from my, my point of yeah. view, I'm working from Star Ghana Foundation. Okay. And given that um, Star Ghana, the Star Ghana program itself started off as a grant-making mechanism, mm -hmm. but through his leadership, mm. and he was very insistent that we needed a program, an organization that continues to sustain the work of civil society, that continues to support civil society's work. And so five-year projects mm -hmm. will not do, do it for us, mm -hmm. given the fact that projects have come and gone, mm -hmm. and yet still when we talk about transformational development, we are still lacking. So an organization or an institution that helps to sustain the work civil society is doing, mm -hmm. um, and so for us, for us to be able to transition into Star Ghana Foundation, that will continue to support that work for us. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, having worked in Star Ghana Foundation, I think is the biggest for me. There are other things he's done within okay. the Ghanaian context, within mm -hmm. that society. But for now, I would like to limit it to what he's mm -hmm. done for one. Star Ghana Foundation. All right. So what's so special about um, Akilakpa at 80? Tell us about Akilakpa at 80, the celebration that you're having this week. I know it's um, a two-day event, yeah. so tell us a little bit more about that. Okay. So Akilakpa at 80, we want to celebrate the life of Akilakpa, yeah. so like I've mentioned yeah. already. And so knowing Akilakpa and giving who he is, yeah. we thought the best way to celebrate him was to put together some public lectures. Okay. So we are calling it the Akilakpa at 80 public lectures okay. and photo exhibition. Okay. okay, and so um, we are going to have two different lectures okay. starting today, the fifth. The first one is on, it's going to be on active democratization, active citizenship, and Africa's transformation. And these are some of the ideals Akila Kwasoya stood for. Cool. Yes, and that will be, um, le the lecture will be given by Professor Adebayo Olukushi, who okay. is with the International IDM. Okay. And there will be a number of discussants. So you would have Ms. Zenebewek from the Ethiopian Academy of Sciences okay. and Dr. Emanuel Akwete of IDEC, who will be part of the um, um, discussant and will be chaired by Professor um, Menu. Okay. So, so those are the issues today. Okay. We'll also be showing a documentary of Professor okay. Kilakwe's life, wow. and so it provides an opportunity for us mm. to see more okay. in terms of what he's done, his contributions to the various um, sectors of society. When we talk about Valco, when we talk about the structural adjustment program, yeah. there's a number of things the prof has yeah. done, yeah. and so that's that for the first day. Okay. Then the second day, which is tomorrow, the mm -hmm. sixth. Okay. We will be discussing the crisis of work. Okay. Yes, crisis of work, wages and wealth distribution and generation in Ghana. Okay. And that will be led by Mr. Charles Abugui, who is um, with Tama Foundation Universal. Okay. So that's what's going to be happening tomorrow. Again, there will be discussants. Okay. So we'll have two discussants. We'll have Mr. Benjamin Boache of ASEP, Africa Center for Energy Policy. Okay. Um, there. And then it will be chaired by Professor Dodi Chikata as well. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. So these are the main um, events. These, these are the main lineups for yeah. 
tomorrow and um, for today for and today and tomorrow, tomorrow. pardon me yeah. for today and tomorrow um who can attend this program okay so it's a public lecture okay. so by virtue of the fact that it's a public lecture okay. it's open to everybody Everyone. it's happening at the ghana academy of arts and sciences okay. at airport Accra, mm -hmm. and it's starting at 4 30 p.m each day okay yeah okay. so 4 30 p.m today 4 30 p.m tomorrow at the ghana academy of arts and sciences mm. for those who are not able to join the event physically mm -hmm. kindly follow us on facebook okay yes we'll be your... streamed live on facebook kindly at, give us your yeah name. at star mm -hmm. ghana okay at idag at twn africa okay and then on youtube you can also follow it on the go geek um channel on the go geek yeah. channel amazing mm -hmm. i'd like to say one thing from you mm -hmm. one way that prof has impacted on your life in a special way you personally yeah. okay so me personally, yeah. six years ago, mm -hmm. I, I was part of a meeting, mm -hmm. and this was a meeting of board members. Yeah. And there was a very important issue being discussed. So the prof turned and asked me that, Mabel, so what do you think? And I shared my thoughts, and we're like, okay, so just like the suggestions have gone, and like she said, can we move on with it? Oh, wow. and, and I was humbled mm. that my thoughts, you know, were taken by the prof. Yeah. And he's been like a mentor and mm. a father where you run things past him, you work with him, and you learn every day. Mm. There's no day you don't learn anything from, from mm. Prof. Akila Pastoria. So I'm very, very happy that I have the opportunity to be part mm. of Aki's friends and associates as mm. they put together this celebration, yeah. you know, for him. So I'm very, very happy. That sounds exciting yeah. indeed. Yeah, very. It's something that I, I've, I've picked from, from, you know, his um, life, yeah. um, his bio, that he's always been uh, selfless and ready willing to help other yeah. people to maximize their impact to maximize yeah. their potential so that goes out to you out there today from today going on um try to maximize your impact maximize um your potential because i mean why why are we here in the first place let's yeah. help other people and let's be the best that we can be so that we can brighten the corners that we find ourselves in thank you so much mabel for joining us Thank this you morning for having me. wonderful